You're watching my good fiend, Roger Walker, on Slasher Pepper. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> Happy Friday the 13th, everyone. I hope you all have a great Friday the 13th. I sure have. Um, I haven't done anything, as you can see from my hair. I didn't even bother to do that, so it's been a pretty relaxed Friday the 13th. I didn't even have school this today because I never had school on Fridays uh, since this Friday because I, I went to film school if you didn't know. I am going to film school for three years. Um, then I'll be going to another film school, the same film school the director of Robocop went to, Paul Verhoeven. Um, so that's crazy. Uh, I sure hope to create some movies that you're all, all gonna watch on Friday the 13th in the future. But anyway, right now I'm just delivering content like this for everyone. And it's really great. I have a great Friday the 13th, honestly. I'll probably end up watching a Friday the 13th movie later. <laughs> because yeah, I'm gonna say that an awful lot of times now. Anyway, let's, let's just continue. Just forget that. Don't drink too much. Um, just do it with Dr. Pepper or something innocent like that. But yeah, what I'm gonna do today is show you all of my 9 hour sheet and Friday the 13th bo uh, books. Yeah, you can drink again. And before I'm gonna show that, I'm gonna tell you why this has been a great Friday the 13th for me. Because Ghost released their new number, Kiss the Go Goat. Very awesome song, I absolutely love it. It's already one of my favorites of theirs and they also released another, Mary, Mary, and then something else. I'm, I'm not really sure what it was again. But it's also a great song. So that's really cool. I love Ghost. Also, it was payday for me today. And it was not an unlucky number. It was actually a great number. Um, great amount. Anyway, now I'll let you show you my Naman Elsie and Friday the 13th books. Some of these are dead rare. <laughs> See what I did there? Dead. Here's the Nightmares on Elm Street, parts 1, 2, and 3. This is the better copy, in my opinion. This is like 3D. This is like 3D, as you can see, yeah, there you go. So that's really awesome. I love this cover. It's the better cover, if you ask me. The other looks kind of cheap, has some yellow stuff. Doesn't fit Nightmares on Elm Street. This one sure does. So this is also a little bit more expensive and rare. This was around 40 bucks, including shipping from the USA to the Netherlands for me. Then we have the Nightmares on Elm Street parts 4 and 5. This is also a really good one. The uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 3, The Dream Warriors is by the way really, really different. It's really different from the movie. It's actually based on the early draft, so I'd recommend that one. These are relatively the same as the movies. Still great read. Not a big fan of parts 4 and 5, but I, I'd still recommend this for any Nightmare on Elm Street fan. That one is also a little bit cheaper, around, I got it for around ten dollars including shipping this one on the other hand i got really lucky it was around seven seven dollars for me but it can go up to thirty dollars you really got to get lucky with this one it's written by david bergantino what an interview with or drinking game with he's a good friend of mine i talk with him at least weekly almost daily really so <laughs> But um, really awesome guy, and tomorrow I'll be recording a drinking game to another movie, which you'll absolutely love. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be great, so be on the lookout for that. And these I'll just all show in a row. These are also, all three of them, by David. We got Freddy Krueger's Tales of Terror. Um, vi <laughs> virtual, virtual Terror, which has a die-cut cover. This was sent to me from Joshua, so I got it for free. I believe it's around 30 to $40, can go up pretty high. But yeah, sent to me by Joshua Wayne LaRue, the 80 slasher librarian, which I'll link up here or there, I never know. As you know, then we have Help Wanted, which also has a die cut cover. This was sent to me by David himself. He actually signed it to Slasher Pepper, keep on making videos and movies, turn nightmares into dreams. But that's really awesome. This one as well. These are all around the same price. All around 30 to 40 bucks. Which is pretty expensive. This one says, to Roger, keep on slashing, keep on peppering. Best, David Bernantino. So yeah, really awesome. Thank you, David, for sending those to me. It's absolutely 
amazing the fact you sent this to me love that then over here we have my <laughs> my absolutely favorite Namanashi books highly recommend you read these and if you don't want to spend fifty dollars um, at least for some of these probably even more on these books go listen to them on the 80 slasher library Joshua narrated all of these he narrated most of these books and if he didn't then he soon will here is suffer the children pretty good read mostly like a little rip off of dream warriors and a little bit more gothic at least that's how I interpreted it and it's what I felt reading it here we have suffer the children or <laughs> dream swan this is my favorite tie-in ever. I reviewed all of these books, by the way. At least this series of Naminashi books. I reviewed these. This one is also really good. This is my favorite tie-in. It's amazing. The characters are so awesome. And Protégé. Also a really good book. And here's Joshua's favorite. Not mine. I like it. I did a review with him. The Dream Dealers. I still miss one of these books. But that one is over a hundred bucks, so gotta wait for a cheap, good deal. Then here we have the book that separates the Friday 13th and Diamond Elsie books. Freddy vs. Jason. So now we have the Freddy books, and now we'll go on to the Jason books. Also pretty cool read. Some differences in the movie are in here. Not too many. It's pretty similar to the movie. Still recommend it. At least listen to it on the 80 slash library. Here we have the Dead Rare Friday the 13th. It's around $300 now, I believe. And I got it for free. Kitty sent it to me. Um, which is absolutely amazing. I did an unboxing on this one. I mean, if you want to hear the story why I got it for free from her, just go watch that video because that's more in depth. Great read though. Love it. There are some things that are never explained in the movie that are explained in this one. So yeah, happy Friday the 13th. Oh, let's pose for the thumbnail. There you go. Friday the 13th Part 3 3D by Michael Avalon with a blue Jason. Cool. Love that, the text on the, the meat cleaver, that's so cool. Then over here we got all sorts of black and white photos. This actually features Jason laughing, and Jason lives. This is my favorite Jason, an Alice Cooper soundtrack. Hell yes, <laughs> gotta love that. Which, by the way, speaking of Alice Cooper, I'll be seeing him the second of October. Then he's in the Netherlands, and I got tickets, and I'm, I'm so hyped, man! I can't wait for that. I'm probably gonna do a vlog because I regret not vlogging uh, at John Carpenter's concert when I went to that. But I'll definitely be going, be vlogging at Alice Cooper's concert because that rocks. <laughs> Over here, I have Friday the 13th, Mother's Day. I don't remember who wrote it, this, what his actual name is, but I follow him on Facebook. We're actually friends. I actually had a little conversation with him a few days ago. This is by Eric Morse. That's his pen name. This was sent to me by Joshua. I believe it's around the hundred bucks on Amazon and Abbey Books, etc. And we have Jason X Planet of the Beast, which if you read these books or listen to these books in the 80 slash library, you appreciate the movie Jason X so much more. Like I used to love it before I read these books. But even after that, I love it even more. Then Jason X Death Moon which is, according to Joshua, the worst book he's ever read. I believe he actually almost wanted to quit his channel, which I'm so glad he didn't, because uh, that would totally suck. The horror community without him wouldn't be the same. But yeah, it's one of the worst books ever. I haven't read it yet myself. And then Jason X to the Third Power, which is the final book. This was around $3,000 on Amazon last time I checked, which is absolutely insane. But this was sent to me by Joshua as well. So yeah, there you have it. Those are all of my Friday the 13th books that I have in Nightmare on Elm Street and crossover Freddy vs. Jason books. Uh, so that's really cool. I absolutely love these books. Some of them are terrible. Some of them are really good. Some of them are terrible according to people because I haven't read uh, 
Death Moon yet, but I'm sure I will think it's terrible as well. I'm, I'm curious to read that one soon. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> that will be a fun experience to read that one. So I'm gonna have to end the video right over here, actually, because my camera ran out of batteries. But that sucks. Anyway, I uh, still want to do some sort of outro, so here we go. I hope you all have a good Friday the 13th. And uh, I'll see you next time, probably with a Dr. Bear drinking game with David, and then in some other video. But I hope you all have a good Friday the 13th, and I'm just gonna end it off by showing you this. There we go. That's an entrance. A Freddy vs. Jason bow star on your door. See you guys. You're pissing me off, Roger. It's not